Obama's immigration initiative gets blocked again, and the University of Missouri President Tim Wolf has resigned, while Republican hopefuls are slated to meet tonight in Milwaukee, and Fight for 15 hopes to have its biggest na nationwide strike today. Today's November 10, 2015. I'm Stephen Varwey, and this is Laker News. A federal appeal court on Monday ruled against President Obama's plan to shield up to 5 million undocumented immigrants from deportation, dealing another blow to the administration's effort to remake immigration laws and likely setting up the final battle in the Supreme Court next year. The decision means that one of Obama's significant signature immigrant initiatives remains on hold nearly a year after he announced it through executive action and leaves it in, in doubt whether the program will begin after his term expires in January of 2017. Republican presidential candidates have pledged to demantle this program, creating an additional urgency with the Obama administration to get it, st to get it started. A White House official said that the administration strongly disagreed with the court decision and was reviewing its legal options. There are an estimated 11 million immigrants living in the country illegally. After weeks of escalation, soon pro protests and the threat of a football team boycott, the president of the University of Missouri system resigned Monday, forced out admit admin complaints that he, has, that he had done too little to address racism and other incidents on campus. President Tim Wolf said that his resignation was effective immediately. He made the announcement at the start of what had been expected to be a long closed door meeting of the school's governing board. Chancellor R. Brownen Laughlin who oversees the university's main campus in Columbia, also will step down. Laughlin plans to leave his position at the end of the year and move to a new role within the university as a director of research facilities development. The first, Republican, the first three Repo Republican presidential debates have drawn record audiences, at least so far. They've done more to affect the candidates, the candidates' standing than the millions of dollars spent on field organizations and TV ads. Now, the GOP hopefuls are slated to meet again tonight in Milwaukee in their, in their fourth debate of 2016. The debate is sponsored by Fox Business Net Network and the Wall Street Journal. And they will promise to focus on jobs, taxes, and the economy. This could be a chance to hear the candidates challenge one another about some of the significant differences among them on tax policy and entitlement programs. In a bid to increase minimum wage to $15 an hour, the fast food workers around the country are playing a nationwide strike today. The group representing the workers for Fight for 15 plans to stage a protest at restaurants in 270 cities, the biggest demonstration since the group began their organization three years ago. The strikes, which, the strikes, which are expected to include tens of thousands of workers and supporters, will begin around dawn at fast food restaurants, and then protesters will gather at local city halls in the afternoon. They're kicking off a campaign to encourage people to vote in 2016 for local, state, and national candidates who support the pay floor. The leader of the free world now has a personal Facebook page, and more than 45,000 people clicked like on it in the first hour when it was live on Monday. It seems unlikely that a man who, whose schedule includes meeting with world leaders and briefing on national security will have much time to post pictures of his meals or comment on pet pictures. But the Times report, report reports this week that President Obama now has more than 20 members of social media team in the White House that aims to bring more spontaneity and accessibility to the presidency. With a 10-day long deals bonanza that stretches out through Thanksgiving weekend, Target aims to get its, to get its stores more frequently, frequently this holiday shopping season. The retailer announced Monday that it would, for the first time, offer 10 days of deals a promotion that starts November 22nd and includes a category-specific deals on each day. The retail will, will continue to offer doorbuster style, style deals on Black Friday, including a 43-inch element LED TV for $169 and a free $150 gift card when you buy an iPad Air 2. For every shopper who spends $75 on Black Friday, the, deal, the retailer will offer a 20% off coupon that can be used on purchase made between December 4th and 13th. Target will kick off its in-store deals at 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving, the same time that opened its deal la doors last year. All of its Black Friday deals will be available online beginning early Thanksgiving morning. 
Well, that's it for the news. Thanks for watching. I'm Stephen Warway, and this has been Laker News. We'll see you tomorrow.